Les Blackstock from Enhanced Clinic again with some of the little video series that we do. We're today going to talk about the quill suture. So hopefully that will be focused in there you see. Now the quill suture is a very helpful and useful little thing that we use that when we close the wound. Now the quill suture is, think a fishing hook. On the fishing hook you have the little barb at the end. Well they've taken a suture needle, they've put two hooks at the end of the suture needles and on the long of the suture, they've made little barbs that give you an extra tension. So when you put the suture in the skin and you pull against the barb, it doesn't go anywhere. So the barbs go in one direction one way and on the other. So we start the suture, apply the suture material to give two layers and two, one to two layers the other way. Now the secret of success here is that this means we have no knots on the outside of the skin. So we can close the wound and the wound will give you not a scarless, but the best scar that we can possibly do from this side. The sutures are quite expensive, but we use them because we think it provides a great scar. And it's our way to try and get the best possible cosmetic outcome we can for you. The scar is under the breast in the crease anyway, so most people can't see it. We're not a real fan of going around the nipple because you tend to lose nipple sensation and there's a greater risk of capture the contraction, so we stay away from it that way. Also, you can go under the arm, but again, tends to have a high breast because you've got to get through the funnel to get down to the lower parts. So we prefer the approach just under the breast using the quills and we get great scars. So I hope this helps your information. Catch you later.